the skeptics have very effectively traded on the desire of the media, some segments of the media, always to provide a balanced view. So, you know, you have a genuine climate scientist putting, you know, reporting on his or her research, and they say, oh, we need to get a balanced view and go and get skeptics to respond. And it's absurd. I mean, every time someone uh, gives a paper on evolution, they don't say, oh, God, we must be balanced and go and get a creationist uh, to come and give, you know, a competing view. And to tell you the truth, um, I mean, the Australian, of course, is the, is the worst uh, media centre of climate scepticism. It just uh, consistently and systematically and maliciously, in my view, uh, promotes uh, climate scepticism at every opportunity. But I have to say, over the last year, I've noticed another news organisation uh, give vastly more attention to climate sceptics, and that's the ABC. I don't know what's going on there. Um, but suddenly, the sceptics are getting a much better airing on the ABC, on its website, on its radio programmes... And I saw one, uh, it was actually Lee Sales interviewing, I think it was Al Gore, um, uh, a few months ago, and she asked a whole string of questions about climate sceptics and how do you respond to this and how do you respond to that? And then she said, and why do you think the climate sceptics receive so much attention? I thought, well, <laughs> well, just shut up. And they won't. <laughs> So uh, this sort of weird... I mean, I think the media has a lot to answer for here. Not everyone, of course. There have been some terrific examples of people who have consistently reported the science and the politics uh, behind climate scepticism, but it really is remarkable the way some media outlets continue to give prominence to unscientific views. <laughs>